try it on the outside. Just uh, reaching out for you uh, from the West Coast here. Hope you're well. Um, I know New York's uh, really suffering right now. We're probably going to get a, a wave here too. Um, just try to keep uh, keep out of those waves if you can. Um, and uh, you know, give me a call if you need to talk or whatnot. I'm I'm here for you. Uh, I guess that's all I'm just reaching out to you to make sure you're okay. Um, we're okay here, so, um, so far so good. All right, uh, love you, buddy, okay? Take it easy. Careful out there, everybody, if you're going out. <sighs> All right, so this is maybe uh, almost how many days have we been inside? I would say five, roughly five days. Um, and so we are going to go out a little later. I didn't sleep much last night um, because uh, I looked at the map and it was a little disturbing basically with um, what I'm seeing is the areas of where I'm at in California, Los Angeles to be specific in our region. There seems to be a lot of cases. And so I think what we're going to do today is um, I am going to go inside and glove it up. Um, maybe wear that improv mask that I have uh, out of a camera, kind of a raincoat for my bag. Um, and just try to avoid people and uh, not touch anything. Probably have one surgical glove. Or a couple surgical, uh, two surgical gloves and a and a mitt or a glove that I use. Um, I'll just take that glove off and um, pick the finer things. I'm still house sitting with this cat, and uh, he's doing okay. Um, so I don't know when. My neighbor's gonna get out. I, she's like kind of at a rehabilitation facility, and it's a um, older people. And I got a feeling that she's gonna go on a boat, on a cruise. Um, they have the Mercy ship that just arrived yesterday, and so you know she'll probably get tested. And if she's clear from the COVID nineteen, be sent on that ship. And then that facility would probably be used for people with COVID-19. Um, now, like I said, the last time we went out was last Sunday, I believe. I have to check the calendar. And our supplies are good, but we're running out of water. Um, and I need to get a Brita filter. So I think that's the next step water for the neighbor she 
specifically wanted bottled, bottled water. I gotta go to the bank, I forgot that. Um, all right, checking out, checking in a little later, and uh, it should be um, an adventure. So the way I'm looking at it is, you know, when I was a kid, I used to play in my imagination. I was an astronaut, and that anytime we would go outside, because this was Canada that I was born in, and with the snow, it almost was like a like kind of a moon thing, you know, where you have the white snow, and uh, it was like to me, it felt like a different planet. And so I would pretend when I would be putting on my my stuff to go out that uh, I was preparing to go to outer space and I would, you know, imagine that the, uh, the, the car was, the vehicle was a, you know, a module uh, to explore like, uh, uh, not just a mere transportation, but uh, anytime we stepped out of the vehicle, we were in a, a different place and then our home was like the mothership and uh, that's the way I'm, I'm looking at things now um, and in some ways is you know <laughs> to keep it kind of creative and uh, maybe not so dramatic um, with regards to what this pandemic is so Water flowing, and uh, say hi to Snooks, everybody. Here he is. Hey, what's going on? Mm -hmm. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, you're a little good buddy, huh? Mm -hmm. Love you. All right, so uh, getting ready to go outside and venture. I got to break up a prescription, and uh, I got some things on the list. So um, I'm gonna try to uh, get those as quickly as I can, and uh, stay safe, everyone. I'm gonna be wearing gloves. I did find an N95 mask that was in uh, our kit um, when I worked on the show Criminal Minds. They gave us a uh, an emergency kit backpack and I think something else we could either choose that or, or um, I don't know what what else the other thing that we could choose but I chose that pack hoping for not a day like this uh, that was a few years ago so I don't know if the food in there is expired or not I have to look at it there's some uh, rations and stuff um, but some really great stuff a tent uh, raincoat and two N95 masks. Uh, I ordered a scuba mask um, and I'm gonna retrofit it with um, some furnace filters. Hopefully I can do it properly, but I think that'll be safer because it'll be covering the whole face. I'm wearing a cap, a hood, my glasses hopefully can protect against any particles and I can avoid people as much as I can. So I have to venture out, I have to pick up a prescription today um, I still have a few, you know, stuff left. Unfortunately, I'm not healthy enough where I don't have to take any medication, um, but uh, not getting into it, but I do have to take, um, which I'm concerned about later down if, if, if this whole infrastructure collapses, which I doubt it. Um, I did hear the president speak today and, um, you know, not being political or anything. And uh, he gave me a little bit of a confidence with regards to um, possibly pulling through this. I know a lot of people are going to die. Um, and then, you know, I don't know, you know, if we would be shooting mud at people and saying, oh, you should have done this, you should have done this. The thing is, we're here and now. And uh, that stuff we need to worry about later. I think the most important thing right now is for us to um, be together by being a part so um gotta venture out all right guys later so 
my glasses are fogged, which I guess is a good sign because I can know where the hell my stuff is going. Uh, went to the pharmacy, tried to go through the drive through but it was closed. And, uh, man, I can't imagine wearing these masks for eight hours or even three hours, let alone 20 minutes. Okay, now I'm off. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm off to the uh, supermarket. Then the last stop is the water. Um, I put the medication. They gave me a paper bag. I put it in the trunk. I'll just leave it there for a while until it's time to go. And uh, I'm going to make sure I do the water one at a time instead of a handful so nothing gets cross-contaminated and uh, into the trunk. So here we go. I'm off forth the water. Doing though is not touching my face. Like uh, the reason why I'm wearing the gloves is basically to stop me from touching my face with my hands. Um, that's the main thing because that's how it's kind of spread. The other thing that I'm doing is um, I, I carry this. Uh, what is it? This uh, alcohol-based. Uh, and I'm washing the gloves with this, um, anything I touch afterwards, I wash it with this alcohol-based. Um, so this is what I got. I got my bag, my camera bag, with some uh, hand sanitizer. So I've been uh, kind of putting the hand sanitizer on the gloves, trying to keep them as long as I can. So, oh God, what a world. Yeah, Siri was calling me. I think she's, uh, she's getting a little worried. Um, all right, brother. Bye. All right, bye-bye. Okay. Yes, come on. No? You want to smell my feet? Huh? Hmm? Hmm?